I know Stephen Matz is somebody who you saw, not just in Savannah, but you're probably going to see him again this year in Las mm -hmm. Vegas. When it comes to working on him on specific pitches, what is it right now you're trying to fine-tune with him? Well, the biggest thing with him is he's, he's got a major league fastball already. Uh, last couple of years, especially when I had him in Savannah a few years ago, we worked on his changeup, which... You can, and, and, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface all this by saying the work ethic these kids possess, we can't, as coaches, take credit for it. We suggest they have to go out and do. And each of these kids you have mentioned right here are taking the bull by the horn, doing it themselves, repetition, work, work, and that's why they're so successful. But Steven needed to work on a changeup. Mm -hmm. He came back from Tommy John surgery. He got that changeup. It's a plus pitch now. So he's got a fastball, two-seam and a four-seam, which I showed, and a changeup. Now, to make him a 15, 20-game winner in the big leagues, he had to learn a secondary pitch, a breaking ball of some sort. Mm -hmm. So Ron Romatic, who's our pitching coordinator, uh, and I were discussing, and Steven always wanted to throw a slider. And a slider with his arm slot, because he's almost his three quarters, just isn't a suitable pitch. So we, we suggested a curveball, which he had in high school. And he's gone back to that curveball. And that has made all the difference in the world. And basically what a curveball is, mm -hmm. see, I throw it wrong. Okay. So I'm against the, uh, my, my curveball. <laughs> Your curveball wasn't great? It right? was good, but I didn't throw it correctly. Okay. You're not supposed to. See, I cheated on the spin. To force more spin on the ball, I tuck, I tuck my thumb underneath the ball okay. to force the spin. Hmm. In reality, you're not supposed to do that. But if it works. If it works for me, I, that's what I'm saying. Everybody's grips are different. It, it's what works for that individual kid. Right. And it might not be like, you know, a no synagogue curveball might not be a Stephen Metz curveball mm -hmm. or something along those lines. But mm -hmm. um, when I tucked it in, it just gave me the chance to put a little extra spin on it. Okay. And, but the whole thing with pitching is all every pitch you throw, be it a split finger, curveball, slide, a fastball, whatever, you have to get on top of the ball. Mm -hmm. But if you get on top of the ball, it gives you the best opportunity to succeed and get the movement you need. So, so when, when, when you approach him then and say, hey, we want you to throw the curveball, do you physically demonstrate it for him? I don't. You I don't. mean, there are guys who have curveball fields and stuff that can show that. Okay. Um, the guy who really was most helpful with Steve, I think, with curveball was his double-A pitching coach. Well, Phil Regan was very helpful in uh, St. Lucie here mm -hmm. in the Florida State League. But the guy who really made a difference for him was Glenn Abbott in Binghamton, our double-A pitching coach, because he told me the story. He had Stephen come by, and on his throw day, Stephen would like to throw a lot of fastball, spot the ball, change us, but he wouldn't work on his curveball. Hmm. So Abby decided one day, we're going to try something different here. I'm going to force him to throw the curveball. And the whole throwing program that given day was he wasn't allowed to throw his fastball until he showed a consistent curveball over and over again. Hmm. So he said he threw like 30-something pitches and like 28 of them were curveballs. But it got in his head how he had to continue working on it. You can't just throw three or four pitches and think you have it. You have to keep on working, repetition, repetition. Sure. And then from that point on, if you look at his numbers last year in Double A, he just took off from there. Oh, sure. And he's taking it, and we watch his side, and his side is just incredible with the curve. So he's got three pitches now that are plus average.